The Dumogled Valacerne National Park in southwestern Romania is an oasis of unspoiled nature. High above it is a man balancing on a slackline. Flaviu Cernescu is an acrobat and extreme athlete. He cycles, sits and walks at dizzying heights. He's not so much trying for new records as being an ambassador for his native Romania. And that explains why he's chosen this national park. My philosophy is uh, when it comes to balance, is just try to experiment with everything that you can find. You can just go longer and longer and higher and higher, but this is not uh, uh, the only thing that you can do with it. You can just take it to other places. Cernescu is trying out his latest idea here, an illuminated slack line that he'll try to walk at night. He and his team have to carry in all the equipment, over 30 kilograms per person. The spot he's chosen for the slack line is far from any road. It's a feat of strength before he even gets started. Doing a high line at night is hard because most of the balance comes from your vision. So when you can't see much, when you can't see the anchors, it's harder to keep your posture, to stay vertical. Cernescu has grabbed the public's attention with his stunts. The most spectacular among them has racked up nearly 3 million views on YouTube. His ascent of an old industrial smokestack, Romania's second highest structure. He balanced atop the 280 meter tall chimney with no safety nets or lines. Flavio Cernescu is Romania's best-known extreme athlete. He appears on TV and in promotional films. In 2014, he rode through his home region on a unicycle for a documentary titled Transylvania Dragon, covering over 2,500 kilometers and showing off his acrobatic skills at various spots along the way. He quit his job as a programmer to take part in the film and to pursue his dream, even though it meant a cut in his earnings. In order to do something really good in life, you have to focus on it. You have to give your way, yourself to that particular thing. So for exploring my sport and for living an adventure life, you have to be free. You have to have more time for that. In the National Park, his team sets up and makes the final preparations for the lighted line. The slack line's webbing is wrapped with reflective tape, so Flavio Cernescu can see it in the dark. The first tests are run in daylight. Then he tries his first steps at night. I was nervous in the beginning that this line can be hard, especially having to do it at night. Some of the LED lights were pointed right in my eyes and I was blinded and I couldn't really see what was uh, important for me. But then I, um, I got into it and I understand the line, so it was good. 25 meters above the ground, step by step, Flavio Cernescu gains confidence. After all, it's just a question of nerves of steel and perfect balance.